locking onto the Gamilla's battleship. How much longer? 15 seconds till we're clear. Keep them busy. All units, clear cannon trajectory at once. Yes, sir. Moving aside. Come in closer. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two. One. All shock cannons fire at will. Any damage? They survived the attack. Our intel must be outdated. It's the newest data we've got. They took our bombardment like it was nothing. of space reach out into infinity. It is a realm of silence and light. Old stars perish, while others are born anew. And thus, the living universe endures. But it is in this moment, this grain in the desert of time, that one planet must face its greatest peril. In 2194, an unknown foe appeared within our solar system in the space off of Mars. They attacked without provocation, raining the first of many meteorite bombs down upon the Earth. It is now 2199, five long years later. Our once beautiful planet has been crippled with radiation from the attacks. What remains of humanity stands on the edge of extinction. People have abandoned the surface of the Earth, scraping out a desperate survival underground. Devoid of hope, mankind sits in the darkness, waiting for the end. I know what you are. You're one of them idiot scavengers. You bust your ass to find scrap metal, give it to the defense force. I don't think it'll do us any good. Earth is done for. Stop fooling yourself. Save your breath, man. He's got a hookup. His brother in the military trades him some pretty sweet stuff for that scrap metal. He gives him drugs and alcohol. Is that right? Your bro's military? Officer, yeah. Secret's out. You trade rare metals for the good stuff, man. So that's what you're up to. Sorry I busted your balls. Hey, uh, you should introduce me to that brother. The hell's your problem?
of lithium, 50 centimeters below the surface. Radiation density of object, 14 sieverts. That is twice the fatal amount. You will die. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know, Analyzer. Sorry. Flying projectile incoming. Huh? Avoid point of impact. This is it, sir. The capsule that crash landed. So what are we looking at? It's like a... schematic of some type. Who brought it in? A civilian looking for metal to salvage. Took a lethal dose of radiation when the force of the impact knocked off his mask. The scrubbing him down as per protocol. That said, the odds of him surviving are slim. Okita! You can't go in there! Stay back! I want to see you! off limits! Okita! Then again, maybe not. What's wrong with you? Get him out of here! Oh, I said you can't be in here! He'll contaminate the ship! Hail men! You Okita? If I am... <laughs> You let the Yukikaze take the attack. While you ran off to live another day. Right? Answer me! Odai! That's enough! Who are you? My brother Mamoru was the captain of the Yukikaze. So you're... Susumu? You used my brother as a shield. You let them die so you could run home with your tail between your legs, didn't you? How do you sleep at night? Like a baby. Shouldn't I? <laughs> you had this coming. Well, at least he was there! So says his guard dog. Yukimori? You know what? It's easy to judge when you're back on Earth. We're fighting a war out there. You should know that better than anyone. Give me a reason. Tough guy, huh? Put the gun down. We'll see how tough you are. Shut up. Somebody had to make it back here alive. <laughs> 
All right, you two, get this Stop roughing out of here. He's already Come injured. Screw you. Shut up. Captain Okita, I'm very sorry. I didn't think he'd react like that. You see, I told him the details of how his brother died. And the next thing I know, he's yelling. Dr. And... Sado, it's all right. Thank you, Captain. That man, how is he still alive after all the radiation he took? Frankly, I have no idea. They hit you hard, didn't they, Captain? Wiped us out. We never had a chance. We hit the Gamillas with everything we had to no avail. We still don't know what they want, or even who they are. They want us dead. And with every battle we fight, it gets harder. They learn our tactics. It's their move. And soon they'll put the Earth into checkmate. And so... The time has come to abandon our home and flee... ...with a chosen few. This is our greatest ship. Which is why I'm asking for it. What did you say? Don't use it to grant the elite a few more days of life than those they leave behind. Give me permission to take the ship on a voyage of hope. Give humanity something to believe in. A stake in their own fate. To know we gave it our all. Let them die on their feet. And what story would you have me tell them, Mokita? What hope is there? People of the nation of Japan, and all of the nations of the Earth, I come to you with an announcement concerning the future of mankind. I hope that you will take it with equanimity. Recently, a capsule of alien origin crash-landed off Cape Onomasaki. Analysis of the capsule has yielded a message of grave importance to all humanity. This, we believe, is a representation of our solar system, which means this is ostensibly our galaxy, the Milky Way. The message came from a galaxy 163,000 light years away, known as the Large Magellanic Cloud, from a planet they call Iskandar. They would like to provide us with a device of their making that eliminates radiation, restoring Earth to its former glory. To that end, we have made the decision to send our final space battleship to go and retrieve that device. Can one of our ships go that far? Could it have been sent by the Camillas? Commander, how long will it take to get there? To answer that specifically would be a dangerous breach of military intelligence. Thankfully, our benefactors have provided us with technology which allows one to make the journey quickly. You're gambling with our That doesn't give us much to go on. How can we be certain the ship will get back in time? Shouldn't the public have a say in this decision? We are not putting this to a vote. There's no time. The planet is in peril, and I'd be damned if we meet our end because we talked ourselves in circles instead of acting. As of today, our scientists predict that humanity will be extinct within a year, and maybe sooner. Some are saying we only have months. If we don't accept Iskandar's offer, our planet will die. This voyage 
is our last hope. People of the Earth, if we obtain this miraculous device, we can reclaim our birthright as human beings. Leave the tunnels and live without fear on the surface of the planet. This is our darkest hour, make no mistake. But we can't stand idly by and let the Camillas finish bombing us into oblivion. We have been given this last chance, and we will take it. Through our valor and our resolve, mankind will rewrite its own destiny. Remember our beautiful, verdant Earth. If we can look to the skies with courage, this one last time, it can be ours once again. To this end, we're accepting volunteers with experience in deep space or the military. If you have these skills, I urge you to you consider enlisting for this momentous folks. voyage. I just want to help out. Looks like your paperwork checks out, so welcome aboard. Hey, Captain. Hey, Captain. Hey, Captain. You get the white and blue suit. Here. Susumu Karai. How are you alive? Huh? I don't believe it. You should have died days ago. Uh. Eyes look normal. Open your mouth. Uh. Doctor, there's kind of a line, you know? Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, says here you have experience leading a... Is this a joke? You led a fighter squadron? I left the service, but now I'd like to re-enlist. Oh, and you can hang on to that. I'm kind of parcel to my old one. Good kitty. Hold on a second. Why are you here? Why not? You tried to assault the captain. Yeah, and? What's your problem? Back off. What are you trying to pull, Kodai? Nothing, okay? Red alert. All hands report to battle stations. Red alert. Assemble the Black All Tigers. Hands report to battle stations. I'm heading to bridge number one. You can't order me around. As of my re-enlisting, I'm your squadron leader. Go out there and show me what you got. Our sensors just picked up the signature of a Gamilla's missile. It's headed straight for your coordinates. It's targeting the ship. And our guns can't destroy it. Prepare to launch. Shima, ready the wave engine. Shima? Roger. Yamato, lift off. Yamato, lifting off. Yes, sir. Too late to get away. Sonida. Sir! Prepare the wave motion gun for use. Target, the Gamilla's missile. But the wave motion gun hasn't been tested. Will it work? Yes. 
I think so. But I can't be sure. If it fails, humanity is done for. That won't occur on my watch. I understand. Could I? Sir, have you read the instructions for the gun? Yes, sir. Kind of. But it's alien tech I've never used before, so I can't vouch for it. No time for maybe. It's do or die. 1,200 kilometers. Raise wave motion engine pressure. Safety valves to shut. Aye, aye. Raising engine pressure. Closing all safety valves. Open the motion chamber. Aye, aye. Underway. Pressure within chamber rising steadily. All available power routed to gun. Ready the force induction and go. Yes, sir. Initiating. Prepare to fire. Shima, give Kodai the controls. Kodai, it's all you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Kodai, disengage the safety. Disengaging, Captain. Locks are at zero. Pressure approaching firing point. Overriding failsafes. Yamato is now aligned to the missile's trajectory. Make sure that it's dead on. Targeting scope, open. Contrast gauge set at 20. Camilla's missile in my sights. 180 kilometers. Energy build up at 100%. Wait for it. Energy build up at 120%. The chamber is at its limit, Captain. Bridge crew, ready to fire. Brace for the flash and recoil. Online. Backup imaging feed incoming. Where is the ship? Unsure. I can't tell. Was it vaporized? Commander! Yamato! Survive! <laughs> they did! They actually survived that! We just showed them our hand. We won't be able to surprise the Camillas with that weaponry again. You did what you had to do to protect your ship. That's one hell of a christening she got. Ready to embark? Yes. I want to leave the solar system before the Camillas have time to try it again. Understood. Yamato! Go with God there and back. Twenty-four hours from now, we test the warp drive. Roger! Day you had, huh? You'll have your fun tomorrow when it's warp time. 
<laughs> it's good to see you here. I'm surprised, you know? Well, she is our last ship. I did it for Jiro, too. Huh? Jiro? How old's he now? Five years old. No kidding. Huh. He's growing up. Right on. Hey, Kodai! Kato? Yamamoto? No way! <laughs> Turns out, we all got posted here today. When we heard you were back in the service, we jumped at the chance. Right? You know it. Yeah. Right yes, away. sir. <laughs> Furia. Hey, what's up? What'd I say about hiding back there? Uh, I wasn't hiding, I was just... One of these days, I'll cure you of that. <laughs> he got you, Furia. Yeah, cut that out, man. <laughs> Team Kodai, reporting in for duty. Requesting chance to rejoin your squadron. The team's still named after me? Yeah, it's even on the jackets. Huh? <laughs> yeah? uh, look at those corny patches they got. Uh, what the? <laughs> 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 we brought a little something along. You don't want to toast our reunion with water. We're gonna right? toast. I guess we got it. So All right, you slackers, take a seat. We're gonna do this proper. Wanna tell your fan club to put a sock in it? Can barely hear myself think. <laughs> Come on. Why are you getting on our case? If you want to be alone, the mess hall's the wrong place for it. I haven't seen any of these guys in years. I don't see what the problem is if we get a little feisty. <laughs> of course you don't. Team Kodai can do no wrong. Cue an evening of you reliving your dusty old glory days. What's your problem? Hey, now. You used to be part of the team back in the day. You were a rookie with huge diapers to match the size of your head. <laughs> <laughs> You're grumpy because I'm going to beat your record. I understand. <laughs> oh, Kodai. So nice of you to join us again. Why'd it take you so damn long? What do you care? Your own brother was killed in battle. Our fleet was all but destroyed. While we fought and died in space, you were safe on Earth, picking through scrap metal. You got scared. And so you ran away, didn't you? What I can't stomach is the thought of the great Susumu Kodai. So beaten as a pilot and a man. That he'd run. That does it. What the hell were you thinking, dumbass? Attention crew. When the Yamato reaches the orbit of the planet Mars. We will conduct humanity's first attempt at warp travel. If we fail, we will die. And all mankind will face destruction. Keep that in mind as you focus on your duties. That is all. All hands stand by for warp. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, stand what's happening? Warp. We're gonna go faster than anyone ever. See ya! Hey, Akigi. Yeah? Get me prepped. On it. BT-1, on deck. Roger. Roger. Like sitting in a cockpit's gonna help if the warp goes bad. Oh. Save it. You're wasting your breath. Warp! Warping, Captain!
Look at that. No damage to the hull, sir. There's no gravity field. It's all clear ahead of us. Warp was successful. All right! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Kodai! We made Dead. history! That was incredible! <laughs> this is some ship. Re embarking on prior course. Kodai! <sighs> Hold on. Ihara, check out our one o'clock. Camilla Squadron! <laughs> Why'd you drop us out here? How was I supposed to know? Maybe they tracked our warp energy output. All hands report to battle stations. Ready the gun. Right away. Problem. We can't use the wave motion gun after warping. They both draw from the same power source. <laughs> so be it. Chief Tokugawa. How long till we can warp again? Our energy's depleted. Twenty minutes at least. Aihara, can you pinpoint our destination in twenty minutes? Definitely, Captain. Kodai. Sir. Cripple the Gamilla's warp engine so they can't follow us. Roger that. Black Tigers, it's Kodai. Target the enemy warp engine. You ready to roll? Ready! ready. ready. Sorry, guys. Too slow. Oh, damn it, she beat us to the punch. Guess sitting in her fighter was pretty smart. No! If you're trying to show off, cut it out. Guess again, fearless leader. This is how I survived the fight off of Mars. We warp in 20 minutes. Try not to be late. Roger that. We got your back. All right, Black Tigers. What do you say we hone in on the Gamilla's mothership? Works for me. Target's painted, Kodai. Ready the cannons. Cannons at the ready. job. Return to the Yamato. We're almost ready. Shima, how much longer? We'll have enough energy to warp in five minutes. Aihara, have you found somewhere safe for us to go? Almost, sir. Sir, it's Kato. There's no sign of Mori out here. We can't raise her over the comms. What? BT-1, come in. BT-1, do you read? 
Say something. I read you. Status. Oxygen supply. Reaching critical levels. Suffocation imminent. Oxygen supply. Reaching critical levels. Suffocation imminent. Enemy debris. Took out my engine. You're dead in the air? Leave me behind. You don't have a choice. Don't be stupid. I'm on my way. Susumu, there's no time! Kodai, return to your post. And leave her behind to die? Like my brother? I'll be back in time. We both will. Nambu, you're on the gun. Yes, sir. Damn fool. Shima, Aihara. Continue preparing for warp. But, sir... Aihara, call out enemy coordinates as they move. Yes, sir. What's he doing? We'll have warp functionality in two minutes. Emergence point has been confirmed. Coordinates? Clear of obstructions, Captain. It's all right. It isn't going to hurt. So don't be afraid. I'm just going to sleep. That's all. Hey, you. Is your ejection booster online? Come on, Yuki. Talk to me. Go back to the ship. The team needs to get back to safety. Answer the question. Can you eject out of there? I think so. Atta girl. On my mark, you punch out, okay? Five Camilla's bogeys closing in on our nine o'clock. Engage. Sir! They rammed us? Without the mothership, they are already dead. Camilla's inbound! How many? At least two dozen. It's a whole squadron! <laughs> Cutting it close. Get ready, I'm coming up behind you. One... shot... Charging of warp capability is done. Camilla's fighter squadron still set on collision course. Kodai is inbound port side. Shima, don't think of those fighters as ships with pilots. They're nothing more than a barrage of missiles now. You know what to do. Roger. Crew, this is the captain. Brace for lateral G's. We will roll to avoid the Camilla's blitz, allowing Kodai to board, and then warp to safety. You heard him! Oh, 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 what? Hey, what's going on? Evasive action imminent. All personnel prepare for G-force encumbrance. Evasive action imminent. Massive collision event in five seconds. Four, three, two. Go on.
Heart's not beating. Oh, Where's the doctor? Down. On her way. Careful. She'll be here any second. What do we do? Yuki! Yuki! I'll defibrillate her. Just buy me some time. Yuki! Open your eyes! She's awake. Sick bay. Roger. On the double. Help on three. One, two, three. Let's go. Right. right. Gambled with the lives of every person aboard the Yamato for one pilot. I had no other choice, sir. To me, leaving people behind to die is cowardice. Throw the gunner into the brig. I'm trying to surrender it. Kodai. Never met a brig he didn't like. <laughs> Chief Tokugawa. <laughs> Glad as hell to see you. Surprised it took you this long to piss him off. <laughs> Losing your touch? Try to do the right thing and a bunch of jarheads march you down into a cell. Mm. Two of a kind. Huh? Tell you the truth, you remind me a lot of him. Your older brother was... He was about your age. How am I like him? <laughs> Full of piss and vinegar, but cool in a fight. <laughs> Better watch it. If you're not careful, you're gonna make a ship's captain out of you. Huh? <laughs> I'm not trying to act like anybody else. I'm just trying to follow my conscience. And Okita's having none of it. <laughs> that old hard ass, huh? There was a time when even Okita acted a lot like you. <laughs> if we live long enough for you to get old, we'll see who you become. <laughs> oh, oh, look who it is. Welcome to the brig. <laughs> oh. Doctor, how is she? Thanks to you, Yuki's okay. Glad to hear it. <laughs> hey, want some? <laughs> yes, he does. <sighs> you should be grateful to the captain. He took a big chance, waiting like he did. Another second or two, and none of us would be sitting here right now. I didn't know that. Look, Kodai. In that battle off of Mars, you're not the only guy with a loved one who didn't make it home. What are we talking about? Well, you know, we also lost the Fuyuzuki that day. The navigator on that ship was Captain Okita's son, rest his soul. This is Captain Okita. We're about to leave our solar system behind. Duty compels us into a realm upon which no human being has ever laid eyes. Very soon, Earth will be too far for us to contact. 
That is why, today, all hands will have access to the communications module. This could be your final message to your loved ones on Earth. I hope that you will tell them everything that is in your heart. <laughs> so I'm like Captain Okita? What a bunch of bull. Each of you will have one minute. At the end of 60 seconds, the connection will automatically be cut. Think about what you want to say so you can make the most of your time. Welcome, crewmen. Enter ID number. Jiro, it's Daddy. I'm doing fine. And son, be careful not to catch cold. Chill out, Mom. I'll be okay. I'm too stupid to catch cold, you know. When you're sleeping, wrap a towel around your stomach or you'll get the runs, just like always. I'll be home again real soon, okay? When I come back, Earth will be prettier than you've ever seen. Cross my heart. Jiro, I... Your time has expired. Don't forget your good luck charm when you're on duty, okay? It's always helped you come home safe and sound. Time. And try to remember to... Your time has expired. Damn it, Mom. Worry too much. 287. 288. 289. 290. 291. What do you want? 290. Most people don't do sit-ups while they're in the brig. 295. 296. And? 297. Finish up. It's your turn to talk to Earth. For real? Input your ID number when it gives you the prompt. You only get a minute. Which one? It's there on your dog tags. Punch it in? That you do. Wait up! Kodai! Good to see you again! Hey, don't blow don't you fuse, Ando. So you transferred here. Yeah. Assigned to the third bridge, sir. Good job. Well, catch you later. Oh, uh, get over hey, here, guys. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for waiting. That was the Susumu Kodai I told you about. Dude, chill. <laughs> you can wait right here. Okay. And about that's good are you waiting for me to say thank you huh? look I didn't ask for you to save me out there okay you put the whole ship in danger how about you bust my balls a little less just like 10% you do sort of owe me What's that there? Gotcha. Oldest trick in the book. Welcome, crewman. Enter ID number.
Back in the saddle, huh? Are you okay? Yeah, glad to be breathing. You seen Kodai yet? I saw him over at the message room. Getting his minute with his family, I assume. His family? Are you sure? Huh? Well, you were on the team, right? Uh-huh. Although, he quit pretty soon after I was assigned to the team. I was reassigned right after that, so I never really caught the vibe. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, I only enlisted because Kodai's heroics had such an effect on me. And then he was done. It's tough when your heroes are people. <laughs> Kodai doesn't need to know all of that. He had a good reason for quitting. Yeah? A minute to talk to my family. <laughs> when the Camillas first started bombarding us, we used to go up and run intercept missions on the bombs. It's tough to believe now, but they used to be almost fragile. We blew up a few, knocked some off target. <laughs> you make it sound like no big deal. Quit being modest. Nah. Kodai was our rock star. I was like the backup singer. <laughs> well, one afternoon this bomb comes hurling in and we manage to knock it away. We save the Earth once again. Only this time, our actions came with lethal consequences. <sighs> I guess you're all the family I've got. How you been, Analyzer? Mr. Kodai, please don't cry on to me. Salt water will corrode my circuitry. What makes you think I'm gonna cry? The Camilla's bomb we diverted headed straight for space station number two. That was him? His parents were aboard. And so was my pregnant wife. She survived it, but they weren't so lucky. They managed to save the baby, too. But Jiro's never been able to talk. After that, he just couldn't bear to fly. Your time has expired. Having said their goodbyes, the crew of the space battleship Yamato heads for the large Magellanic Cloud and the planet Iskandar to obtain the anti-radiation device said to exist there. All clear, Captain. No gravity field detected. Warp successful. Picking up another craft. It's a Camilla's fighter! Is it alone? Affirmative. Nambu, on it. strange. Why isn't it attacking us? What? Putting it on display. Did it warp with the Yamato? Kodai. Sir. I want you to bring that enemy fighter aboard. Let's see what we can learn from it. Roger. Uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> Captain! Pull sick bay! No, Captain! You're in charge! Roger, keep to your post and Captain! Yes, sir! Captain! <sighs> so what's the verdict? Sadly, 
It is progressing. Thought so? Well then, how long do I have left? Listen to me. Soon enough, those pills aren't going to help. to see it. No sign of a cockpit. Maybe it flies itself. I've never really seen one, you know? You've seen a lot. Don't even. How close can I look in a dogfight? I don't see any signs of life. Think maybe it's a drone? Saito. Yeah? Take a piece of the fuselage, but be careful not to damage anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Once I've worked my magic, your little sample might be all that's left of this thing. Wait. Yamato. The planet Earth is ripe for conquering. Who am I talking to? Desla. Desla. You refer to us as Camillas, yes. Was that crystalline structure your consciousness? You are correct, and not. We are comprised of individuals, yet we are one being. We are the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. And what do you mean by that? Why are you attacking our planet? Attacking it. <laughs> We're terraforming it, human. Saito! You're going down! Sorry I blasted you, man. You know what, though? That's how much kick I had to give it to convince that thing you were down for the count. Oh, you're such a giver. A pulse gun on level two? You can knock out a bear with that crap. <laughs> Too late. Watch your ass. Next time I'll set this bad boy to three. <laughs> he got you, man. Get out! <gasps> that crap hurts! If anyone else took a hit like that, they'd still be up in sick Suck bed. it up, you big softy. 
For knocking me out, you have my thanks. You owe me one, soldier. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> what you doing? I am gonna buy you a beer, could I? Now we're even. Cheapskate. <laughs> Captain, it's Kodai. Come in. Coming in. You wanted me? Kodai. Sir. How do you like the ship? I've never served on a battleship before, so I can't really compare. But I know she's quality. You wanted to discuss something? Could I? Sir? Would you assume the role of acting captain? What? I had always hoped your brother Mamoru would succeed me. I'm not him. You have leadership in your bones, the same way he did. You belong at the helm, Kodai. Will you? Sorry, but no. I can't do it. I couldn't... ...couldn't live with the decisions that you've made. Well then, if your mind is made up... Excuse me. Kodai. I'm not asking you to be the captain I have been. Do it your own way. Still a no? All right. I won't burden you with the illusion of choice. Listen up. As of right now, Mr. Kodai is serving in the role of acting captain. That's all. Good luck. Scramble the fighters! We need to get out there right now. Gamilla's attack in progress. I repeat, Gamilla's attack in progress. You're the captain now. Progress. Where are you going? Hang her! When did it start? We're not exactly sure, sir. We only just noticed it. As far as I can tell, it's sending some sort of transmission. An SOS? Worse. It's our location. They painted a bullseye on us. <laughs> Mr. Sonata, you have the helm. Hope you're ready for action, Black Tigers! Yes, yes sir. sir! What are you waiting for? Destroy it! Roger! Roger. Camillas wouldn't send just one. How many more are out there? Third wave approaching. They've opened fire. Hell. Shima, evade! I'll try. Damn it. Damage report. Bridge number three has taken massive damage. The crew is trapped inside. How much air? Enough for now, but they don't have too long. Send a rescue squad on the double. 
Patch me into bridge number three. Go ahead. This is Ando. Can anybody hear me? The elevator shaft's been hit. We're trapped down here and we got wounded. If we don't get a medic soon, they're not gonna make it. Acting Captain Kodai here. A rescue squad is on the way. Just try to stay calm and stabilize your wounded. Ando, you're doing fine down there. We'll see you soon. Thank you, sir. Where are they now? Camilla's bogeys, three o'clock. Shima, turn hard to starboard. Roger that. Chief Tokugawa, start charging the gun. With pleasure. Charging. Targeting scope open. Our prey is the enemy gunship. Trajectories are in sync. Got them in my crosshairs. 60 kilometers out. Energy buildup at 120%. 10 seconds to wave motion gun. Bridge crew, race for flash and recoil. Boat has been destroyed. The enemy fleet is gone. All right. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank That's you. how you do it. I'm getting a signal from under us. Under us. Energy output rising. It's going to explode. Evacuate bridge number three. There's no time. The blast will kill us all. Explosion imminent. Kodai. Yuki, this is Kodai. Fire on bridge number three. Take it out. Do it! Yes, sir. <clears throat> It was the stealth craft. The radar didn't pick it up. I should have seen it coming. Six of our crew were serving on that bridge. Their deaths are on me. I'm not fit to serve as your acting captain. Why did you re-enlist? You were free of this life. Why did you come back? I had to find out what kind of a man you are. To know... what kind of a captain my brother Mamoru laid down his life to protect. I see. I'll 
also. To see the earth made beautiful again. To have it back like it was when I was a kid. to see it live again. What should I have done? When there's no good choice, how do you make that decision? Mm. Kodai. The past is no place for a man to live. Especially not a leader. You'll find no comfort there. You play with the cards you're handed. You do your best for as many as you can. You say that, but it doesn't make it any easier to stomach. Maybe you can just write them off. But I'm not like you, Captain Okita. I feel their deaths, Kodai. There was a time when I felt them just as keenly as you. Leading a crew means shouldering a burden no one else can carry... ...but you. I believe... ...you're doing a fine job as acting captain. Could I... There is... There is something very important you need to know. Who is it? It's Koda. Why are you here? To apologize. I don't follow. For giving that order. I'm sorry. You don't have to say sorry. If you thought that you did, you're wrong. Whether you like it or not, you're the captain of this ship right now. You did what you had to do, and so did I. Even though it meant... It meant that I had to. Shoot people, I know. professional of me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Don't be. Don't ever be sorry.
I see Iskandar! Iskandar? Come on, you guys! We're there! Whoa. We're there. Iskandar. Missiles at 12 o'clock. About 60 of them. They're closing in fast. They invited us here. What the hell's going on? The wave motion gun is offline. I know. Battle station. The missile, sir. They're breaking into groups. They're headed above and below us, port and starboard. All guns lock onto enemy targets. Ten seconds. Weapons hot. Five. Large missile incoming. Ten seconds to impact. One and two, you hit that missile with everything you've got. Give me a damage report. Captain, the wave motion gun. I know, it's not ready. It's the muzzle. They jammed it. They what? Enemy fleet dead ahead. Fire on them with every cannon and get that wave motion gun operational. They'll grind us into dust! More missiles incoming! Impact in 30 seconds, sir! We can't target them all! There's just too many! Then we run. Warp us out of here! But I don't have any coordinates yet. If we don't, then we'll die! Could I? We can't! Incoming! your mind? If there'd been anything at these coordinates, we'd be obliterated. We'd be just as dead if those missiles hit us. <sighs> Location. I think we're still near Iskandar. Are we? Is that... The same planet we were approaching before? Yes, sir. That's the same one. We only warped to the other side of it. It looks like Earth. Gamilla's weaponry. Are you sure? This was a Gamilla's missile. Has there been a mistake? Did we come to the wrong planet? <sighs> See now? We know they played us. Played us? Yeah, and we fell for it. It's Kandar. The magical radiation device, just in time. <laughs> it was a Gamilla's trap. But why? Why would they go to the trouble? to lure the Yamato away. If it sounds too good to be true, then it probably is. I analyzed that communications capsule and it wasn't mentioned, not once. Just schematics for the gun and engine and coordinates here. What are you telling us? The radiation device that lured us out here might be nothing more than a bad fairy tale. 
That's crazy. Why would anyone do such a thing? We left Earth unguarded and we weren't even sure? Guess that means the captain was lying to us. Bite your tongue. He's a good man. How could you think that? I'll go ask him. You can't. He's barely hanging on. You mean... Hell, I'm game. Saito! He's the only one who knows the truth, isn't he? We need to ask him what the hell's going on. What are we all risking our asses for? Anything? Tell me, Kodai! We're going down there. The message included coordinates on the planet itself. We'll get the answers we need on a scan. Kodai, are you insane? You're gonna be marching us right into the lion's den, you know that? Why would they attack us in space if the real trap is on the planet? There's a reason they don't want us going to those coordinates on the surface, and I'm gonna find out what it is. Someone sent those engine plans. And that engine's better technology than we've ever seen. Look, if we don't send a team down there to investigate, none of us will ever know the truth. Okuto followed that message through the stars. He believed it. And I believe in him. Captain Okuto loves the Earth as much as anybody on this ship. Sanada. Yuki. Saito. Shima. If we can pull this off, the Earth lives. Our benefactor sent us specific coordinates. They will lead us to a point beneath the surface of the planet, right here. Our mission is simple, we go there. The strike team will be the Black Tigers, the Marines, Tech Officer Sanada, and me. You're going down? How come? The Gamillas have an aerial defense system. Kodai's going to knock it out for us, on screen. This is the airspace, right above the team's LZ. The sky is teeming with these defense sentries, but slipping through them is our only option. It's impossible. My Cosmo Zero can do it. Its onboard tech predates the Gamilla's attack, and it can cloak. Stealth capability is not going to help you. Soon as you fire your engine, they'll know exactly where you are. Then I guess I'll just have to do it in freefall. Black Tigers, you'll attack on my command. Make sure that our Marines get their boots on the ground. Proceed with caution. We've lost enough lives in this war. There'll be dozens of them. Do you really believe that you can take them all? Attention all personnel. This is Acting Captain Kodai. As you all know, our landing on Gamillus is about to take place. This battle will probably be the last one of a journey that spans so many light years. In April of 1945, battleship Yamato set sail to be a ray of hope when our people were in their darkest hour. We are doing the same. The coordinates we were given may be a Gamilla's trap. Maybe this is what they want. Maybe we're playing right into their hands. But as long as hope still flickers in the long night, as long as there's a ghost of a chance, we will champion our cause. And if the struggle claims our lives, so be it. We are the keepers of a proud tradition. 
the honor of a ship worthy of the name Yamato. It's a privilege to share this moment with all of you. We are here as agents of hope. And now, as the Earth is in its darkest hour, we're going to fight to save our planet. No. We're doing this to save the people we love. We'll make the Earth as green as it was before. In the name of the Yamato. And for Captain Okuta. We go unto glory or to death. We'll take the left side of the formation. Go okay, ahead. Dad. Roger. You sons of bitches ready to kill some Camillas? Yeah! I can't hear you! Yeah! Get well better be! Yeah! You gonna bring your A-game? Yeah! It's Ken down our bus! Yeah! This mission is gonna be a one-way trip for a lot of them. And that's what makes the job so fun! Yeah! See you on the ground. Zero for a while. Well, you're welcome. You ready to make up for lost time? Attention all pilots, Roger. please report to your fighters immediately. Repeat, all pilots, please report to your fighters immediately. Okay. Pre-battle diagnostics are right mandatory. Right wing check. Left wing check. Okay. Wanna come with? You're gonna show off out there, aren't you? Oh, sure. It's like you're one to talk. <laughs> Be safe out there, yeah? more incentive to make it back in one piece. Take out the guns.
record today. You say that every time we go on a mission. Yeah, but this time it's true. Furia! <laughs> Heads up! The enemy's above us! up on the coordinates. All right. Time to land. Coordinates lead us to right here.
This is Iskandar. Yuki. Don't. Yuki. We have been waiting for you, Earthlings. Where is Yuki? It's like what they did to Saito. So the stuff about Iskandar was all true? That is but a name one of your kind applied to us. One who is known as Okita. What in the hell? I knew it. Could I? There is... There is something very important you need to know. The message about a radiation device on Iskandar is a lie. All of it. How could it be a lie? We were sent coordinates and blueprints. That was all. There is no device. Then why the story? It's because of you. Of me? The radiation you took should have burned you down to your bones. But you recovered from it, and that made me think... ...that maybe the sender of the capsule... ...had a way to dispel radiation. I bet it all on one hand. Hold on. We're traveling thousands of light years? To get a device that doesn't even exist? That's right. <clears throat> but... We carry our hopes with us. You came aboard this ship with hope hidden in your soul, didn't you? You and I have survived this long. Who can tell? Maybe my gambit will pay off. As long as you draw breath, you're on the winning side. Our race has evolved past ego. We revel in the glory of a single mind, shared among many. The Gamillas are one aspect of this shared manifestation. The polar opposite of that is what you call Iskandar. Gamillas and Iskandar were a single essence in better times. Two sides of the same coin. Our planet's fated to die, having reached the end of its life. Iskandar is at peace with this outcome, and will embrace extinction. However, Gamillas wish to wipe out your race, and take your planet as a surrogate, that both aspects may yet survive. Iskandar does not approve of this, so Gamillas broke away, and imprisoned us here. We located a tiny fragment of ourselves that remained in Gamillas, and sent it to Earth as a token of our goodwill. That token was the capsule. And the radiation device? Please tell me you have something like that. It does not exist. But we would counsel you not to despair at this revelation. We can remove it better than any device. Something you know to be true. Go on. You're asking us to take a lot on faith here. We need to be sure you can deliver.
The air in this cavern is no longer radioactive. Go ahead and breathe it without your helmets. Go ahead. My energy is more than sufficient. We will accompany you to Earth and render it healthy anew. Yuki! I'm okay. They are, too. <laughs> Wait! What is that? If the Gamillas have a central core, we're looking at it. Blow that to hell, and we'll be done with them forever. Sons of bitches! Yeah, you like that? I love this part! Kodai. <gasps> yeah. We're gonna take out the core for you, so go on. You're nuts. You'll never get close enough. Once the two of us cross that walkway, get the Yamato out of here. What, and just leave you behind? Saito! Roger that! Oh, no, damn it! You know what's gonna happen if you stay. Oh, get over it! Don't write us off just yet! Yeah, whatever! Lucky shot! The Yamato is waiting for the two of you. So go! I can't just do leave. it! I never had a brother. But you would have made a great one. <laughs> you shouldn't waste your tears on us. <sighs> now, back to your ship, Captain. Ready to go? Get it green again. I should have bought you another round. Here you go! Genius or something? Slap it on, let it rip! I need more time. Get out there and hold them off. Roger that! Ha <laughs> ha 
anything. One last time. We are getting our planet back! It's all right. We can go in my Cosmo Tiger. It's set to blow. Saito! Bought the Earth a fighting chance at survival, at the cost of many lives. If you think we're in the clear, we're not. Roger. We're about to enter our final warp. Earth will be in visual range upon arrival. Go. You're needed. Get some rest. Sato. Thank you. Where's Earth? I see it. Show us. It's the little red one. You're right. Earth is right there. Yes! <laughs> Yes, 
Sir, this is Yamato. Acting Captain Kodai and 36 crew reporting. Currently, 420,000 kilometers from Earth. Tell me, did you locate the device? We have fulfilled our mission. And on this ship is everything we'll need to heal the Earth. You mean that there really was such a thing? The Earth's surface will be habitable again? Yes, sir. I guess Okita knew the truth since the beginning. You've done well. You're heroes. Every one of you. Humanity is in your debt. Commander? The Yamato will reach home in a matter of hours. The battle for Earth... ...is at an end. Give me a damage report. Get out of here. The whole deck's going up. Portside turrets hit. All can't take this kind of abuse. They hit the bay. The launchers are crippled. Turret 2 has been destroyed. Catastrophic engine malfunction. Tokugawa, what are we looking at? Talk to me! Chief! Chief, do you read me? She might have taken quite a beating just now. But the old girl... ...can still dance. Chief! Tokugawa, come in! Me. You thought you had won. <laughs> and what would you humans consider victory? Annihilating our planet as you did? Or returning your planet to a state that can sustain you? Desla. No. You're not him. I am Desla. And I am not Tesla. Your attack annihilated the majority of our individual aspects. I am part of the fragment that survived your cowardice. Our master plan for colonizing Earth has been set aside. Most of those who would have made the journey were vaporized by your so-called science officer. In the Grand Ledger, I suppose. You can count that a victory. However, it is a victory bought at a great price. What do you mean? You will never set foot on your planet again. We 
we are an ancient race full of pride. And our wrath is as cold and deep as space itself. <laughs> Life signs negative. It isn't here. I've got a bad feeling. What the hell? What's it doing? to destroy Earth. Oh, son of a... Nambu, ready the guns. We're shooting it out of the sky. Kodai, sir, there's nothing left. What do you mean? I still have the wave motion gun, damn Did it! You forget they jammed the muscle?! If you fire that gun, we all die. The Yamato will be completely vaporized! This should be the captain's call. Okita? He's gone. Think, Kodai. Come on, use your head. Use your head. There's gotta be a way. Think of something. Anything. Nambu. Is there enough power left to fire the gun? Enough for a single shot. But again, if we shoot it, the ship will explode. Could I wait? Have all hands abandoned ship. This is an order from Captain Kodai. You're abandoning ship with us, this right? This isn't up for discussion, pilot. Abandon ship! Dr. Sato, evac the wounded. Kodai, I'm staying right here. No, Shima. You need me to keep the ship steady. Shima, listen to me. If you're half the helmsman I think you are, you need to use your skills to get the crew back to Earth. Damn it! Look at me. You're the only one who can get Yuki to Earth, and if that doesn't happen, all of this was for nothing. I know, but... I am the captain now. Don't you get it? I go down... ...with the Yamato. All yours. Roger.
right. Let's go. You should join the others. I'll be right behind you. I'm not leaving you here. Yuki! If you can really get out of here in time to be okay, then so can I! I am giving you an order! I know that you're lying to me! What's the point of saving the Earth? If you're not going to be there with me. Yuki. Before you, I was all alone. But then fate brought us together. Should have told you this before. All I wanted was to be with you. ...to keep you safe. <laughs> ...and give you a better world. That's what I've been fighting for. So let me finish the fight. If I don't succeed, everything we've done has been for nothing. Even if I should die... I can heal the Earth in the process. Then I'm alive. <laughs> and every creature that calls the place home... <laughs> okay? <sighs> I'll be with you all of the time. No. I want you to live. <laughs> Don't do this! <laughs> you can... I love you. Forgive me. Shima. Korai. Get her to safety. I will. So steer her true.
sinking ship with 12 survivors. Get as far away from here as you can, Shima. Roger. There's no more time. If I'm going to destroy that ship, it has to happen now. Could I? Targeting scope open. Yamato. Engage. Twenty percent. Locking on. Camilla's ship. Wave motion gun fires in ten seconds. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Yuki.
Girl, you have been done.